Hey guys, this is Abhishek from GadgetsTubes.com and today we are going to do the quick comparison in between the new Motorola Moto G and the Asus Zenfone 5. When we talk about the price, the price is kind of different for these two phones. We have the Motorola Moto G, the new Moto G coming for a price of 13,000 rupees on Flipkart. This is only available on Flipkart, whereas the Zenfone 5 as well come for the for, for a slightly lesser price which is 10,000 rupees uh, for the 8 GB variant which you can buy and you will have to pay approximately 13,000 rupees as well for the 16 GB variant of Zenfone 5 which you can buy. One thing which is the same on these two phones is that both of these phones are only available on Flipkart. You cannot buy these phones from any other shop in the market as at least in India as of now. So talking about the specification, we are going to compare both of these phones in terms of what you get within the package of these two phones, what kind of experience you have, what kind of battery backup you get on these two phones, how the overall gaming and multimedia experience on these two phones and other things. So let's start the comparison. And for starting the comparison, I would like to show you the box content first of all. So let's take a look over the box contents of the new Motorola Moto G, which we have with us. So the things which you will get within the package is going to be the Moto G. You will get a charger which has a cable which is which cannot be detached. So that means you will have to buy a micro USB cable uh, separately. You also get headphones within the package of the phone and some user manuals. And these are all the things which you will get within the package of the new Moto G. Let's take a look over the package contents of the Zenfone 5. So when we talk about the Zenfone 5, we will get a Zenfone 5, which is not right now here in the package, but I can show you the other things. I can show you what we have inside the package of the Zenfone 5. The packaging is kind of complex over here on this one. But the things which you will get within the package of this phone is going to be the micro USB cable, a universal charger, a USB charger over there as you can see. And it is a 1 ampere charger. It is slightly more than 1 ampere, it is 1.35 ampere in terms of the output current. However, the charger which you get on the new Moto G, this one does not give you uh, 1 ampere of output current. It is less than 1 ampere of output current which you will get from the charger on this one. But again, pretty good to charge this device. Uh, when it comes to the headphones, you get in-ear headphones within the package which are of very good quality and better than the ones which you get on the new Moto G. And you also get some extra earbuds which also come within the package of this particular phone. So in terms of packaging, I can say the ASUS Zenfone 5 definitely have more things within the package and better things within the package even for the lesser price if you buy the 8GB variant of this phone. Uh, if you buy the same 16GB variant of the ASUS Zenfone 5, still it is having more package contents, a better package contents as compared to the new Motorola Moto G. In terms of the weight, these devices come very close to each other. So the new Moto G weigh around 149 gram, whereas the ASUS Zenfone 5 weigh around 145 gram. So they are fairly equal in terms of the weight. But in terms of the form factor, I can say that it is slightly easy to hold this device in hand. I am more comfortable holding a new Moto Motorola Moto G which has a rubberized matte finish back cover to it which can be removed but the battery cannot come out on this one whereas on this one as well the battery cannot come out the back cover can be removed so both of these devices has non removable battery but in terms of the overall form factor I can see that uh, the form factor of the new Moto G is slightly better because it is a smaller device to hold in one hand and also in terms of the height it is not too big uh, to actually handle whereas the ASUS Zenfone 5 slightly feels bigger to hold in one hand and carry it around with you at times and one more thing I would like to say that the corner edges on this device does not give you a great feel when you hold this one whereas the rounded edges or the slightly curved edges with rubberized finish actually give you a very good feel when you hold the new Motorola Moto G in hand as compared to ASUS Zenfone 5. Comparing these devices on the basis of display, both of them has 5 inch of display and a resolution of 720 to 1280. So approximately same pixel density you will get on both of these display, exactly same. Comparing these two devices on the basis of display, both of these devices has 5 inch of display which is the same. When it comes to the resolution as well, the resolution remains the same on both of them. We have 720p resolution on this device, we have 720p resolution on this one. The exact resolution is 720 to 1280 which gives the same pixel density on both of these displays. When it comes to the viewing angles, you can see that the viewing angles are pretty good on the new Moto G and they are pretty good on the ASUS Zenfone 5 as well. You can see the display from extreme angles but in comparison we can see that the 
Moto G has slightly better viewing angles as compared to the Asus Zenfone 5 which is the difference over here but again both of them has pretty vivid displays which are good in day to day usage to be used and sunlight visibility is again good on the new Moto G and it is good on the new Asus Zenfone 5 as well. When it comes to the screen protection we have Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on both of these devices so you have good protection on both of these displays. The display on the new Moto G again will get fingerprints over time but it will not get the scratches and this is good. Same goes for the Asus Zenfone 5 this display is also pretty good but it will get fingerprints but it will not get the scratches very easily as you can see. So display wise they are equal. Now comparing these two devices on the basis of specs, we can see that we have different hardware on these two devices. We have a different chipset over here and we have a different chipset over there. When it comes to the version of Android, we have Android 4.3 which is coming preloaded on the Asus Zenfone 5. It can be upgraded to KitKat as per the information which we have got. We have Android 4.4.4 KitKat which is the latest version of Android. So in case you want the latest version of Android, you will get on the new Moto G, not in the Asus Zenfone 5. When we talk about the processor, we have ARM b7 processor on both of these phones however the chipset is different so we have 1.6 gigahertz intel atom processor on this device which is z2580 and we have snapdragon 400 processor 1.2 gigahertz on this one and we have qualcomm msm 8226 chipset if you cannot see it i can just show you so we have a quad core processor on this device we have a quad core processor not a quad core but a dual core processor on this device but again in terms of day to day usage and performance both of these devices are good this is how the display resolution will look like on these two phones we have touch capacitor buttons which are there on the body of the phone which again make sure that you have effective resolution of 720 to 1280 whereas on this device on the new moto g we have touch capacitor buttons which are there within the display of the phone they are not on the body of the phone which again decreases the overall effective resolution at times and it might give you problems so again for people who would like to have touch capacitor buttons on the body of the phone this is a better phone in case that is a primary factor for you when it comes to other things when we talk about the ram we have 2 gb of ram on this device whereas we have 1 gb of ram which is definitely something which is better on the asus zenfone 5 you also get 2 gb of ram on the 8 gb version as well as on the 16 gb version which is definitely a good move from asus whereas we have only 1 gb of ram on the 16 gb version which we have if we compare the price of these two phones the 16 gb version is price same so we can compare them in terms of hardware and specs and i can say in in terms of the software fluidness you will get a better fluid software on this device which is far more fluid as compared to the asus zen ui which is a custom ui which runs on top of android but when it comes to the custom features in case you are looking for extra widgets for for example a weather widget or for example a calendar widget like this you will get much better customizations option on the asus zenfone 5 as compared to a new motorola moto g which is again running on a stock android ui the camera ui on this device on the asus on the motorola moto g is something which i do not like much because this device gives you a kind of a stock camera ui which is slightly difficult to use at times i can take a photo from both of these two phones so that i can show you the quality which you will get from these two devices as far as rear camera is concerned we have the camera being launched over there again the camera ui is much easy to use over there it does give you a lot of options like turbo mode continuous shooting mode you do have a uh, owl mode as well in which you can take better shots in low light and this is how the quality will look like from the asus zenfone 5 i can show you both of these photos one by one and you can see the difference that the photo is again good on the motorola moto g as well as on the asus zenfone 5 but if you compare the clarity the clarity is actually better on the asus zenfone 5 however the photo is kind of yellowish on the asus zenfone 5 which we have taken from the rear camera but this might be because of the display which we have on this one again the display is set to auto brightness mode but in terms of details, I can say the details are slightly better on the Asus Zenfone 5 as compared to what you get on the new Moto G from the rear camera. The rear camera on these two devices is an 8 megapixel camera which has autofocus and high definition video recording. This device can also record high definition video at 720p as well as at 1080p whereas you can only record high definition video at 720p on the new Moto G. We do have LED flash as well. When it comes to the front camera, the front camera is 2 megapixel on both of them and it is having a fixed focus camera. So both of these devices have fixed focus camera and I can show you the front camera quality as well. 
as of now uh, by toggling to the front camera first of all on this one so this is how the front camera quality will look like on the asus zenfone 5 and if we take a look over the front camera quality of the new moto g i can show you that as well so this is how the quality will look like from the front camera on these two devices i can say that the front camera is slightly better on the new Moto G as compared to what we get on Asus Zenfone 5 because the new Moto G has slightly better uh, details as well as it has slightly better colors when it comes to a video call. So both of these cameras are good enough but I would say the rear, the front camera on new Moto G is something which I like more as compared to the front camera which we have on Asus Zenfone 5. As far as the capability of these two phones when it comes to multimedia experience and entertainment, I can say that both of these devices are good. You can play high definition games on this device on the new Moto G as well as you can do that on this device as well. But storage might be a problem over here and it might be a problem over here as well. Again this device comes for 16 GB model in which you get around 11.6 GB available to the user which is pretty sufficient for installing high definition games. A lot of high definition games can be played on this device. We have also installed some of them which includes Blood and Glory, Frontline Commando D-Day and we have also installed Modern Combat 4. Asphalt 8 also runs on this device. However, one thing I would like to point out is that the Modern Combat 4 which we installed on this device does not get played. It does not run even when it is installed. I cannot play this game anyhow whereas the Asus Zenfone 5 is pretty good in terms of gaming performance. You can play high definition games on this device, you can install high definition games and this device is also pretty good in the gaming department. I can show you the benchmark scores when it comes to graphics for both of these phones. So we have got a score of 60.4 FPS on Asus Zenfone 5 which is a pretty good score and we have got a score of 57.2 FPS which is also a pretty good score. So both of these devices can play high definition games. But there might be some games on both of these devices which might not play. Modern Combat 4 does not get played on this device. However, we have played Modern Combat 4 on the Asus Zenfone 5 and you can play that game. When it comes to other casual and medium graphic intensive game, you can play almost any game on these two devices. As far as video playback is concerned, you can play high definition videos on both of these displays without any issues. You can play high definition video at 1080p or at 720p on both of these displays. When it comes to the storage comparison, we have 16GB version of the new Moto G and we have 8GB version of the Asus Zenfone 5. On the 8GB variant of the Asus Zenfone 5, you get around 5GB available to the user as you can see where you can install applications and store picture videos and other data. When it comes to the 16GB variant of the new Moto G, we get around 12.79GB. Again, 8GB uh, version of new Moto G will also come in the market after some time. On that version, we will see the comparison between the storage differences. As of now, if we compare the 16GB variant of the Asus Zenfone 5 as compared to the Moto G, we have more storage available on the 16GB version on Moto G as compared to the 16GB version of Asus Zenfone 5. Pairing these devices on the basis of two factors which is the LED notification light. We do have LED notification light on both of these phones and the second factor is OTG support. So we do have OTG supported on the new Motorola Moto G but Asus Zenfone 5 does not support OTG. Again this one comes with a limited storage of 16 or 8 GB. When it comes to the SD card slot I can show you the phone from the back side so that you can see that whether you have SD card slot or not. So we do have SD card slot over here on this device. We do have SD card support on this device device as well on the new Moto G but in terms of storage options I can say that the storage is something which might not be a problem on the Asus Zenfone 5 as compared to Moto G in future because this one does allow you to change the default write disk under the default settings on the phone so that you can install certain applications on the SD card whatever applications are supported they can be installed. To finally conclude the comparison between these two phones I would like to point out few points and I will give a point to the one which is better in that particular scenario. So first of all in terms of the overall form factor I can say that the new Moto G is slightly better because it is better more comfortable to hold in one hand it gives you a better grip as compared to the Asus Zenfone 5 which has a plastic back cover whereas this one has a rubberized matte finish back cover and the corners on the Asus Zenfone 5 on the back cover does feel slightly uh, uncomfortable when you hold this device for a longer duration in your hand as compared to the new Moto G. Again in terms of the height and the overall dimensions, the Asus Zenfone 5 is bigger in terms of the height as well as wider in terms of the width which is something which I do not like. So I would like to give uh, the form factor point to the Moto G. When it comes to the display, the display is good on both of these phones. Both of them has IPS LCD display which gives you great viewing angles. Again, 
the new Moto G is slightly better in this department in terms of the wide viewing angles but this is not a major difference in between these two phones both of them are good enough so I will not give a point on this particular uh, category to any of these two both of them are equal in that category when it comes to the weight the weight of the Moto G and the Asus Zenfone 5 is very close to each other so again I will not give a point in this particular segment as well as far as rear camera is concerned I would like to give a point to the Asus Zenfone 5 because the Asus Zenfone 5 has a better camera UI which gives you far more options for low light shots as well as for bus shot continuous shooting all those options are there on the default camera UI of the Asus Zenfone 5 and the camera at the back on both of these phones is an 8 megapixel camera but this one shoot high definition video at 720p as well as, as, well as at 1080p whereas the rear camera on the Moto G only shoot high definition video at 720p we do have LED flash in both of these phones and slow motion video recording is also supported on both of them when it comes to the loudness uh, so in this particular category when it comes to the camera I will give a point to the Asus Zenfone 5 now it is one on one when it comes to the overall loudness of the sound loudness of the sound is better on, over here on the new Moto G it has dual front loudspeakers which is again better in terms of the loudness as per the sound which you get from the Asus Zenfone 5 so in terms of loudness and the quality of sound we have found that the Moto G actually is better in this particular segment as compared to Asus Zenfone 5 so now we have two points for Moto G in positive and we have one point for Asus Zenfone 5 in terms of the front camera the front camera is pretty decent on both of these phones but I have seen that the front camera is slightly better over here on the Moto G again so this one is now 3 and this one is now on 1 when it comes to the call quality the overall experience the day to day usage I can say the battery backup on the new Moto G is also better as compared to Asus Zenfone 5 during our usage we can easily get around one day battery backup with moderate usage on the new Moto G whereas the Asus Zenfone 5 is also giving one day battery backup but this device always gives more backup in our usage uh, when we did the review of both of them when we used both of these phones for around a week we got more battery backup on the new Moto G so now it has four points uh, in positive and this one only has one point when we talk about the overall value for money value for money is something which you get better on this one as of now because you will get this device for 10,000 rupees 8 GB variant you get around 5 GB of internal storage free which you can use whereas on this device you have to have a 16 GB variant which is the only option as of now and you will have to pay approximately 13,000 rupees so you are paying 3,000 rupees more for this particular device as compared to this one which actually gives you a slightly better camera so in, ca in case camera is actually import important then I would recommend you to go for Asus Zenfone 5 so now we have two points in favor for the Asus Zenfone 5 and four points in favor of the the new Moto G another thing which I would like to point out is the storage department when it comes to the storage on this device we have 16 GB of storage out of which approximately 11 GB is available to the user on the 8 GB variant you will get approximately 5 to 6 GB whereas on this version on the 8 GB variant we have the 6 uh, approximately 5 GB available to the user on the 16 GB variant we have the same storage available on both of these phones so in terms of the storage I can say that the storage wise both of these phones are good enough in terms of what you can get as a available storage but you do have the option of changing the default write disk so that means you have the option in the custom UI on the Asus Zenfone 5 which is the Asus customized settings where you can actually change the app installation settings in this case you can actually select certain apps to be installed on the SD card whatever which is supported whatever application which are supported they can get installed in the SD card but on this device you do not get that option you can only install applications on the SD card once you root the new Moto G so this one goes in favor to the Asus Zenfone 5 so in comparison in total points I can say that this device has quite got four points in favor this device has got three points in favor depending on what that what does matter to you in case camera matters to you more I would always recommend you to go for the Asus Zenfone 5 with a better camera UI this one also gives you a very good camera quality but the camera UI is something which needs a lot of improvement I would say you can always use third-party camera UI in case you would like to go for this one in terms of build quality and the form factor build quality is good Good enough on both of them both of them but in terms of form factor this one is better so the, these are all the things which I would like to point out in between these two phones as far as overall comparison is concerned in case I have missed out anything in case I have missed out any perspective which you may like to uh, look at on these two phones while comparing them do let me know in the comment section below I would love to compare these two phones on on the basis of that perspective as well so thanks for watching the video in case this video helped you you can click the like button you can subscribe to our YouTube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you